So tomorrow, tomorrow is, is my first my day first back, back at school. Y'all. Cool, cool. Am I ready? channel Denitra Lachey please ignore my background it looked like I'm just moving in my house but we've been here for a long time I just have a lot of boxes of stuff that I ordered so before we get into this video y'all look at my coffee cup even though it's not really like necessarily a coffee cup it's so cute I got it off Amazon y'all if y'all want me to leave a link down below just let me know because it's so freaking cute I have two I have a black one as well and they come with either a clear straw or a metal straw. And it has like the cover on it. So like if you have something super high here, just hold on to the side. So y'all, tomorrow is my first day back in class. Am I really ready? And y'all, excuse my little bunny. I just have not took this off my head yet. Anyways, so today I need to go to the store and see if I can get some supplies because I have four classes, but like two of them go hand in hand. So I have clinic one lecture and clinic one lab. So I plan on just getting a big binder for that class so I can split it into two sections and just have everything in one place for that clinic. Also with radiology, I wanna get a big binder for that as well because I have radiology lecture and then I have radiology lab. So I'm probably gonna end up getting a smaller binder for oral pathology. Cause I don't really feel like it's gonna be too much. Like I'm, I'm not gonna need like a huge binder for that one class. So hopefully it'll work out. I can find everything I need. Um, I need to get me some more notebooks and uh, do I need pens? I don't think I need any more pens. I don't really need too much for class right now for me to like buy because a lot of the stuff that I need, I already have. I bought last semester. Hopefully I don't go to the store and start picking stuff up because I know I come out the store with a whole bunch of stuff that I don't need. I'm also gonna be showing you guys the stuff that I purchased in first semester when we first started uh, this program. Materials and things like that, that was required for us to have. I have that in my trunk. Some stuff I have at school because we're not using every single thing yet. So the stuff that I'm using is at school and then stuff that I haven't used yet that probably will use this semester is in my trunk. So I can show you guys that. Yeah, we'll see how the day goes. And I got to take this off my head if I'm talking about going to the store because <laughs> baby, we can't be walking around looking crazy. Okay, y'all. Uh, so I am ready to go to the store I just pulled my hair back I'm about to get ready to head to the store but I wanted to show y'all my other cup that I got from Amazon it's so freaking cute like y'all get into it like classy sleek perfect and also I went and got this little thing it's a frother it's like power you press this I don't have any batteries, y'all. I have to go get some batteries. So I need to make sure I get batteries too. But they take two 
AA batteries. You just press the top and then it starts to spin. It comes with this and you put your creamer or whatever you want to froth in here. And you just froth it. So I actually have not frothed anything before. So this is my first time. I had to upgrade myself. So I've been seeing so many YouTubers use this thing and put it with their coffee. So I'm just like, I should just try it out and see if I like it and go from there. So I just bought this y'all off Amazon again. <laughs> Amazon has been the plug, okay? So if y'all want me to leave links of everything that I've got, I will link it down below. Because y'all, I can't stay off of Amazon. I'm ready to go. So let's go. <laughs> y'all and walmart really didn't have much um everybody done cleaned them out too so maybe i'll learn my lesson for next semester to go ahead and get everything i need beforehand and <laughs> not last minute but i'm trying to work on my procrastination y'all i be procrastinating a lot and i need to stop being that way i guess i'm about to head home i want to y'all i've been talking this whole time and i just realized my mic has not been on so let's run this back so i ended up getting this two inch binder I got two of them and they're the same color which sucks because I like to get different color binders because I like to be colorful, color coordinate stuff. I don't know, just really like that. What I didn't get was a binder for my oral pathology class which I'm probably just going to end up getting like a one inch binder. I probably have one but I'll look to see if I have one. So these binders ended up costing $5.78 and that's actually pretty good for a two inch binder. So I got two notebooks. I really love this color. And I got the blue. The notebook, they ended up costing $3.36 a piece. I also got some dividers, two, two packs. Hopefully this will be good enough for both for all of my classes. Those were $3.57 a piece. I got three folders and they was a dollar, so they was pretty cheap. And it has pockets in them. And it also have holes in it. So if you wanted to put this in your binder, you can. But I, I got these only because we have like projects during each semester. We'll have like a project and um, the last last semester we had a project where we had to write a paper and create a PowerPoint on a certain drug in pharmacology. And we had to write a three page essay about the drug and then we had to put them in folders and give them to the teacher great so you had to have the folder or either she was going to count off like 20 points off of your grade which is crazy so get some folders y'all because you never know if you might need them and then they were dollars so you can't beat that dollar is the way to go okay y'all i hope y'all can see me better because the lighting outside is kind of like dimming down um so i got my ring light out well, no, it's not my ring light. It's my box lights. So we ended up putting our order in for our supplies. And these are our supplies, y'all. So I'm going to show you. A lot of stuff, like I said, I don't have. I ain't going to say a lot of stuff. But some things that I don't have are at the clinic at school. Also, y'all, we were not allowed to bring our instruments home. As soon as we got them, we had to leave them at school to get them sterilized to get them ready for when we use them. So we wasn't able to bring them home at all. We also did not have a type of don. To work on unfortunately they stopped making it a requirement so our class was not given type of dance but if you want to buy it out of pocket you can the teacher basically explained how you can have a type of at home and you can use your instruments and stuff like that at home but you could be practicing the wrong way and then when you actually get back in class and clinic you know they'll critique you and tell you what you're doing wrong hey that's not right so they don't want to have to unteach you something that you've been doing wrong the whole time at home. So it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, it's like, we ended up getting bio masks. We have not used these yet. We'll probably be using this semester because this semester we're going to go into working on our family members and friends. I'm excited about that and nervous. But yeah, this whole time we've been working on each other, getting our skill checks and things like that done. And now we're about to move on to working on our family members and friends. So, 
that's supposed to happen around March time. So we'll probably start using a lot of this stuff this semester, but this is a bio mask. And I got a mask in here, y'all. Don't mind that. But it comes with the visor. And it comes with several um, shields in the pack. So you can put it together. So it has holes on the clear protective shield. And then you just clip them around the uh, sides. It's going to look like this. We got a box of bonnets. They look like this, y'all. Like kitchen nets to put on your hair. And you put, you got to tuck your hair in the too. But if you want to wear these, you can. Honestly, I have not worn these. I bought scrub caps off of Amazon. Are y'all surprised? Amazon is the go-to. Like, it's the go-to. It's the plug. But you can wear these if you want to. They're there just in case you forget your scrub cap or something like that at home. You have these. So I keep all this stuff in my car. So if I ever do forget something at home, I can just run to my car and get whatever I need. Because they do issue us lockers at school. And a lot of that stuff don't fit in a locker. And then I have like a box of stuff that I'm going to show y'all as well. That my big gave me. And it was so sweet, y'all. We have the bonnet. Also, we have... They are blue and they have white cuffs on the end. Those are the ones that they want you to have with the white cuffs around the um, wrist. But I don't wear these as well. Um, these are just there if you need them. We have white lab coats that we ordered so that we can wear in lab. And these are just the alternative. So if you ever take your lab coat home to wash it and you forget it, you wear this. And these are another type of isolation gowns. Um, so two of these. We also had to order masks, and these are level three masks. We had to order two sets of masks. So those are one, the other ones at school. I ordered a box of medium gloves, and they are purple. Um, I don't have them right now because I have them at school. We use them every day in lab as well. Try to make sure you get the size you want. You don't want these to be super duper tight, and you don't want them to be super duper loose. And then we have these. Now these, Hold on, wait. Can you see where? This way. We're going to be using these this semester, y'all. Radiology is going to be fun. I'm excited for that. We also have some napkin chains. So when the patient sits down, you have your napkins, you put the chain around them. So these are syringe tips, y'all. I can take it out and show you. It looks like this. Can y'all see that? This is what we use when we are rinsing out the patient's mouth. It connects to the water hose line on the clinic chair, so the chair that the patient sits in. So we sterilize these by putting them in our instrument kit, and they run through with the instruments. We also was given a mirror. Ooh, I don't have the mirror with me. It's in lab. We use the mirror so the patient can see themselves, and when we're educating the patient on oral hygiene instruction, we'll use it also. Y'all, these are the instrument pouches that I was talking about earlier that you put your instruments in for sterilization. So they look like this and they open up and you put your instrument in it. So it's a certain way you have to use these. We have our names on them as well. And we also engraved our names on the instrument cassette. So I'm also going to put a picture in a video in uh, showing you guys my instrument. You are not allowed to choose the color. They had random colors and they randomly passed them out. Thank God. People in my class knew me because they were like, girl, I got this for you here. They traded, gave me my purple and gray instruments, and I was happy with it. So we ended up getting like three of these. We got some black and red color pencils for um, documentation because everything really documented in blue. And red is like what you use for other things. We got some patient glasses, and they gave us glasses. But these glasses, y'all, I don't wear because they're way too little for my face. And then I wear lashes, so look how little this is. I ended up going to the Uniform Advantage store and I got me a pair of safety glasses. We also received patient glasses. They're like this, but they have yellow tint on it. That is everything that was in my box. It's pretty sizable, so you'll be carrying that thing out to your car and you get it at school. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to put this back in my trunk because I don't want to forget this.
probably finna get ready to call it a night. It's like 10 o'clock at night right now. And um, I'm probably gonna end up setting up my binders for tomorrow, get myself ready and settled. So make sure y'all like this video if y'all enjoyed the content and also comment down below if you have any questions. And make sure you subscribe to your girl so, you know, we can keep up with each other. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!